Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be the final path on 8.1.3 for exploration. This is pumping iron, a good defense, precision parry and parry vulnerability. And we are going to take Psycho Man as the boss. More on him later in the video. So for this path, you can literally use any champion you want. But it would be more advisable to use champions that have a lot of buffs so you can keep the fight shorter and you can get the paths done. I would say two best options will be Cosmic Champion with buffs, so all of your Angelas, your Odin, your Galen, your Hulkling, your Champion, all of them work really well here. Or you can bring your mutants with all of those prowesses like Magneto, Storm, Bishop, and with that armors you can bring in your Colossus, all of them work really well. So the name of the game is bring champions that have a lot of buffs so you can easily bypass the pumping iron node and the rest you can play as stun immune as well and you should be able to get through this path easily. Now before we jump into the path make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel and turn on the post notifications. All of that really helps me out a lot and helps me grow the channel. Now the first fight is going to be against a civil warrior. I'm going to use a Hulkling here. So all in all, I just need three uh, buffs on myself. Then I can attack and I will be starting do to do damage. Now the good thing about Hulkling is that he will get unblockable as well. So I will have an easy access to go in and throw uh, any specials or hit him. But if you're using a champion that does not have that, you will need to wait for the opponent to throw a heavy attack. You won't be able to parry because to parry you need at least two or three precisions on you. And when you parry the opponent, they are converted into a passive stun. How you can do that though is you... There's a node here that helps you get all of those uh, buffs on you from good defense. So whenever you will dex the opponent, you will get a buff on you. Whenever you will parry the opponent, there will be a debuff on the defender. So just do two or three or four of those, uh, those uh, decks back and you will get the precision on you. And you can get one precision from parry and then you can go ahead and stun the opponent. And that will do extra damage while he is stunned during parry. So yeah, that's about it. But I try to ignore the node totally. Because that's a lot of hassle, dexing back and again and again and again. I just brought in champions that have a lot of buffs. Get activating the pumping iron and just do my thing and get the damage all in. Next defender is going to be a Gambit. Now I have brought in a Colossus here. Now you can go about this fight in two ways. You can either play as a stun immune champion, just wait for him to throw a heavy, or you can dex back again and again, try to dex him. And every time you dex, you will get a new buff on yourself. And once you have enough precisions, you can use a stun that will passively, a parry that will passively stun the opponent. And then you can go in and attack. For me, the easiest way instead of using uh, dexing back again and again, what I like to do is to just use as just play it as a stun immune defender. So I'll just stay there, let the defender throw a heavy attack, and I will retaliate in the block, and then wait for the specials, and that will give me the openings, and I will go attack him. I don't have to worry about the pumping iron because I am using only champions that have a lot of buffs. So this fight becomes the whole path becomes much more easier if you take that approach.
next defender is going to be an Ultron. Now here in example, he does not, the defender does not take damage and you have to build up all of your uh, buffs on yourselves. Now here I am slowly playing and trying to get those buffs in right there. I've got three buffs. Now you will see the full uh, potential of the damage. So yeah, I would not say that you should be bringing in champions that don't have buffs, but it's better to bring in that have. So you can do easy damage. You don't have to wait from the beginning. Not really a great Hercules player. So if you see bad gameplay, yeah, that's on me. I ha don't have him as a six star, so I haven't invested much time in him. But the good part about Hercules is if you intercept with the special, you get three buffs right away for cruelty. So you already have enough to do 100% of the damage and you can take him down. So technically you can run the whole path with Hercules if you want to. But again, easier way would be to just bring in uh, champions that have a lot of buffs. Or you can use Odin pre-fights with Hercules and he can destroy the whole path as well. Then you have Storm Pyramid X. The only thing you need to worry about here is to only keep her to an SP1. Her SP1 can be evaded easily. The SP2 can go unblockable and can do a lot of damage. So that would be really annoying. I am just using a Hyperion here. So the idea is to build up to an SP3. Have that SP3 thrown. And when you have those three nuclear charges, you can start throwing SP1s and let those incinerates uh, kill her off. So right there, I think I will throw an SP3 here and then I will spam my SP1 so that will easily kill off Storm. The only thing here you need to be take uh, need to be careful about is to not push her to an SP2 and you should be fine. Any champion with a lot of buffs should work really well. Next defender is going to be a warlock so again natural counter to him will be champions with a lot of buffs because the more buffs you have the shorter is the duration of the transmute virus that he will in infect you with so again any champion with a lot of buffs or you can use any champion with odin pre-fight abilities and you should be good again i am just using a hyperion here my whole thing is to use an sp3 get those extra damage charges the new uh, nuclear ones and then you uh, start throwing your sp ones and the incinerates will be able to kill off the opponent quite easily plenty of different options available you can use any one of them just remember that he is uh, immune to he is resistant to criticals until the armor up is there so just be wary about that rest of the fight can be done easily
and the last fight before the boss is going to be a kingpin now i am going to use a colossus here and i am using omega red synergy all i need to do is to get three armors up on me and i should be good to start doing the full amount of damage it's more advisable to keep kingpin to only sp1 his sp2 can do a lot of block damage so yeah just keep him to an sp1 and just retaliate after once you have an sp2 you can throw that as well and the damage will really take over and kill him off plenty of different options that can be used king pain is not a difficult defender so i hope you get that done and i'll see you at the boss fight The boss fight is going to be against the Psycho Man. Now he is the most annoying boss is 8.13 and generally for 8.1 as well. The problem here is going to be the concussion because he will apply a lot of uh, debuffs on you and then he can go unblockable and there's also rich get richer. So if he has whoever has the more buffs they gain more power. So that is also going to be annoying and the concussion is very bad as well because if you try to parry him he will not... Uh, because of concussion you will not be able to parry now the easiest easiest answer to this fight is going to be a magneto just simple parry and heavy because he's a metal champion and you can get that done the second best option i found out is going to be an hyperion and then an angela with her you don't have to worry about not being able to parry uh, long shit is also a good one because he can his ability accuracy is uh, increased to 300 but it is going to be a slow fight you have to throw around six or seven sp2s so yeah these are some of the good options that i've used and i think they work really well but if you have a magneto that is going to be the best option and even with the mag mags you have to th throw like at least two sp3 so you are able to kill him off so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel and turn on the post notifications. All of that really helps me out a lot and helps me grow the channel. And I'll see you at the end of the video. So it will take two SP3s to kill him off. I would suggest even if you have a 5 star rank 4 Magneto, bring that. He would be a much better option than any other def uh, attacker on the game. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to drop a like and share the video and leave a comment down below. All of that really helps me out a lot and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.